must fantasize about being an astronaut because he loves to say that his tax cut plan will make the economy take off like a rocket ship. What is good for me is if everything takes off like a rocket ship. The only people on board would be the wealthy and big corporations. That's good for me. That's good for everyone. The rest of us would be left behind to face severe cuts to things like Social Security, Medicare, and education. And a lot of very wealthy people feel the same way, believe me. Trump likes to suggest that our tax code is so onerous that corporations have no choice but to ship jobs and profits overseas. We are going to bring back the jobs and wealth that have left our country, and most people thought left our country for good. But the truth is, if you look at how much governments around the world are getting from corporate revenue, the U.S. is actually below average for industrialized countries because of all the loopholes in our tax code. Did you use that $916 million loss to avoid paying personal federal income taxes? Of course I do. Of course I do. Trump is wrapping his tax plan in the American flag. We want tax reform that is pro-growth, pro-jobs, pro-worker, pro-family, and yes, tax reform that is pro-American. But if he really wanted to be patriotic, he wouldn't be running around promoting tax cuts for the wealthy and big corporations. He'd be focusing on strengthening our public education, health care, and infrastructure, the things we really need to make this country strong. Our job here and what we've been working on in the White House is to create an economic stimulus package by using taxes to drive the economy of the United States. This is the trickle-down theory coming back like the zombies who just won't die. If I'm hearing you correctly, you can't guarantee that no middle class family will get a tax increase. There will be middle class families who get a tax increase under your plan, correct? George, there's an exception to every rule. So that's a yes. So look, I can't guarantee anything. Despite all the evidence to the contrary, they're still staggering around, hoping we'll fall for this hoax one more time. You're eliminating the estate tax, eliminating the alternative minimum tax, cutting the top rate, cutting capital gains, cutting the tax on pass-through income. That means millions of dollars for the President of the United States. If policymakers really wanted to stimulate the economy, they'd be doing more to lift up workers at the bottom who need to spend nearly every dime they make. I'm doing the right thing. He says, believe me, I won't be getting a tax cut. It's not good for me, believe me. Can you guarantee that President Trump won't get a tax cut under this plan? We are very confident that Americans are getting a great deal here. Under this tax cut plan, most of the benefits would go to the wealthy, and that wouldn't do much for the economy because they can afford to squirrel away most of their income. Your audience watching TV now, getting ready to go off to work, we want to find a way to put more money back in their paycheck. Will the wealthy get a tax cut or not? The wealthy are not getting a tax cut under our plan. Your government is working for you once again, not for the donors, not the special interests, but the hardworking, tax-paying citizens of our country. This is a complete joke. It is a plan that will work, but for people like President Trump, his wealthy cabinet members, and wealthy Wall Street CEOs, not for ordinary Americans.